Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Tip Fox. I'm a video making nerd from Hamburg, Germany, and this is part two of three of my Sticko Mode video effects recreation tutorial series. What a hard phrase. Last time we used Blender and DaVinci Resolve to let my face explode, but this time I want to show you how you can data mosh your video footage or make cool data moshed video transitions for, for example, your music videos. For this sake, we are using again DaVinci Resolve because it's free and it's awesome. And we will use Avidemux. I don't know how it is pronounced, but let's call it Avidemux. This is a free software for changing several properties of your video files. We will delete and copy and paste frames with it. Make sure to download the version I link in the description because the current version is not supporting those features anymore. But now I want to show you which effect I mean. So here we are in the video, Travis Scott's sicko mode featuring Drake. And I don't mean this cool visual effect here, I mean the transition coming up next. This. So you have uh, like a video laid on another video. Um, and they used it two times in this video. Uh, let me let me scrub to the to the other time here. We have the same thing, and there you got this this moshed transition. And now we are jumping right into DaVinci Resolve because I prepared something. I have myself here wrapping in a really weird style. So this is just a test for the data mosh transition. I'm a noob in wrapping, but this is not part of my decision. Okay, this hard cut, we will change it to a smooth data mosh transition cut. Obviously, I cutted those videos and also did a little color correction or color grading here. Uh, pretty noob stuff, but yeah. It is really important that you have a contrast between those two shots. So I got a little more purple here and a bit more blue here and I have the screen jacket on and yeah. So the next thing we want to do is exporting this as a video file. Just go to deliver. After this we have a MOV file in my case and we will open up a Vdemux. A Vdemux. A Vdemux. Here we go and we can just drag and drop our rendered video in there. Just like this. And the first thing you need to do is to change this here to XVID. MPEG for ASP XVET and then go to configure and here go in the frames and change your maximum iframe interval. Iframes are intracoded frames so they are storing the full image. Video files are more like you have a full image and then you have a lot of frames just describing how the pixel are, pixels are moving and then you will have another full image and then again and so on. Um, when we change this to maximum iframe interval, the video does not contain so much iframes anymore. So just type in 9999 and save this as AVI file. I don't know why we use AVI, but all the tutorials are using AVI. There is something technical behind it. So we will believe them. <laughs> Add the 999 in the end, so I know that I changed this file and change the file type to AVI. Wait for the encoding. After encoding is finished, we have this little done message here. Just click OK. Close this project and then open your 999 file just by drag and drop. Then make sure to change this again to copy. And we can also change the zoom. Here you see the frame. So the first frame is of course an iframe and we don't want to delete this. And then there will come some by predictive frames and predictive frames. We can scrub through this timeline here with a with a mouse and it will just it will just stop where the iframes are. So we can also do this by clicking on those little um, fast forward buttons here. And in this video, we just have two iframes. The first iframe we don't want to delete. This would corrupt our video file. But the second we will delete. And we can delete it by marking it the beginning with this A button here. Then take the right arrow to skip one frame. Click on B. And then it selected this little frame. And we can just use the delete key to delete this iframe. After this, we can scrub through the whole timeline, but we won't have any iframe 
except the first one. And this is basically everything we need to do for this transition. But I can show you something else. We can go to frame 100 by typing it in here. Enter and we are at the frame 100. Just search for another P frame. There you go. And do the same, mark the uh, beginning and end point of this frame. And then you can just use copy, control C and control V to paste those frames in here. This will make your video longer. So of course you need to delete some frames somewhere else. For example, here, let's delete this one. one and we need to delete two more let's delete those and now we can just save video as avi again let's take this one and say this is the moshed version we don't want to use smart copy and it is finished. It's just changed a few frames. That's why it is so fast. And this is the final render here. So pretty cool. This little glitch here is by our copied P frames. And this effect is coming because we don't have any iframe anymore. And this file is basically corrupted somehow. Also VLC can't can scroll through the video. So this is pretty cool. So now you think you can just drag and drop the finished result into your timeline, but this is not working because the file is corrupted and we need to convert it back into a real video with a start and the an end and some iframes in it. And for converting videos, I always use Handbrake. This is also a free software where you can reduce the video size extremely. But in this case, we want to yeah, repair a video. So just open up Handbrake and drag and drop the moshed file in there. Handbrake is a really powerful tool and perhaps I will make a tutorial on that. But for now, we just want to set our target path and our desired target name. And then we just edit to the queue and start the queue. It will now encode the video and probably also will reduce the file size a bit. And after this, we will have a real video file. Now it is finished. We can just drag and drop it on our timeline. So here we got our final video with a transition in it. I just shorten up the, the, the data moshed clip a bit and made a ease in and out overlay of the original. Just let's watch this clip now just a test for the data mosh transition i'm a noob in rapping but this is not part of my decision okay this is enough in my opinion of course this was just a basic tutorial on how to data mosh with a uh, it depends on your video files on your basic transition you're using it depends on the the frames you're cutting out and copying and so on so Feel free to just ask me anything if you have any questions here. I will link you a good written tutorial in the description and as well the old version of Evidemux. If this video was interesting for you, make sure to follow my channel and hit the bell to not miss any upcoming tutorials. And also I would be pleased to see if you are following to my other social media as well. The last but not least episode of this Sicko Mode Video Effect Tutorial series will come up next we will create some cool trail effects. So make sure to follow my channel and we will see us back soon. Bye. So this is just a test for the state of mosh transition. I'm a noob in rapping, but this is not part of my decision.